Welcome guys, today we are going to explore about the prediction of stroke recovery. One of the most common questions that clinicians are faced with by stroke survivors is uh, when can I recover fully, when can I ever walk again, uh, will I be able to return back to work. In the literature world, there are many different types of prediction tools out there. Some of the things that you may have heard are clinical prediction rules, algorithms, uh, decision-making trees, or even simply just clinical reasoning. In this video today, we will be looking at the TWIST tool, which is actually an algorithm. TWIST actually stands for Time Taken to Walking Independently After Stroke. In this study that was done in 2022, it involved 93 stroke survivors, and the assessment for the outcomes were actually done by the first week of the stroke onset and the predictions that the algorithm made can be done up to 6 months which means that on the first week of stroke the algorithm was able to accurately predict up to 6 months ahead in the future for the recovery of the stroke As you can see, this algorithm is actually quite simple It only has 3 categories which is the age, knee extension, MMT score and the postural control for the age, if you are above 80 is 0 score and if you are less than 80 is score 1. For the knee extensor MMT, if you are above 3, which means that you can extend your knee against gravity, then you are a score of 1. If not, then you are a score of 0. For postural control, we will be looking at the Burke Balance Scale, simply known as BBS. We will be only looking at the first 4 components because the total score that is required for the BBS in the algorithm is up to 16. So if you can do these 4 items independently and safely, then it's automatically a score of 16. However, if you have some difficulty in any one of these, um, then the score will be less than 16. Based on the score that was tabulated, from the results of the study, these are the probability or the chance of the patient actually walking at independently at 6 months. So. One final thing to note is that although this study is a very nice and a simple study to follow, it has not been externally validated in different populations or different settings. So to use it in the clinical setting, um, it is not 100%. It may not be 100% accurate. However, um, this is the nature of prediction. It can never be 100% because we are looking at something into the future. Hence, what I would suggest is that this is actually a guiding tool for clinicians or even patients to follow. Do consider subscribing to Basic Physio for more content like this. Thank you.